Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video. Before we get into today's competition guys, we need to go back to the previous episode which was the Christmas special object competition and uh, see who won. So looking at the results right here, it looks like Tispol or Stuck in 2D, he goes by two names I believe. So yeah, he took the win with five votes with his object here. So it was uh, Sars Ven, I hope I'm saying that right. So he took the win there, so he got it. And then in second and third, we had joint or joint second, I should say. It was Siren and Error XD. So Siren had his Earth. It was this one here, the Earth with the green lights. And Error XD was his. It was the gas dwarf over here. So it had the red atmosphere. And then it was a uh, green underneath. So yeah, there are our top three for the Christmas competition. But again, a massive thank you to everyone who took part in that uh, competition. Yeah, really, really good one that was. I think that's definitely one of my favourites um, we have done so far. But yeah, that all said and done, let's move on to today's competition. Okay, everyone, here we are. We are doing a rerun, actually, today of um, Epsilon Erdani C. And the reason for that is when we last did this um, one, uh, it was two weeks ago now, um, everyone sent in objects thinking it was Epsilon Erdani B, not C. And the reason for that is I basically made a whole ash of it in the Discord and got the letters confused um, with typos and stuff. So, yeah, apologies um, for that for everyone. But, yeah, today we are doing a rerun of Object C, or Epsilon Erdani C this time. So this is the Ice Giant one. So we should see a lot of Ice Giants um, today. So this should be interesting. But without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, we've got my one here. And then we had the winner of the previous Epsilon Erdani. That was made by um, the user Core. So, yeah, there are our, we can have those as sort of two uh, benchmarks. But yeah, moving on to today's objects. So if I just search up comp. Okay, here we go. Right. Actually, what we'll do is we'll start off with core. So this is the person who won the previous one, which was this one here. So let's see what they've made this time. So let's place it next to their old one here. Okay, here we go. And oh, we can see a uh, readjustment of the previous object. So they've turned it into this now. So look at that. So it's a little more uh, blended together. The band colors looking very nice. Still got the pale white uh, color theme going on it there. Very nice indeed. So yeah, that's the user core. And I believe a lot of people put descriptions. So let me just check it. Um, did they put one for theirs? Um, let's see here. No, they didn't. Okay, so this one's got 70 bands, apparently. Okay. Right, moving on. Next object in the list, we have got... Okay, whose is this? This is Sirens. Okay, so let's see what Siren put for her, um, his object. Okay, right. Let's place it in. Oh, okay. This thing's quite big. Right, here we go. Epsilon, Erdini C. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, look at this. Right, okay. So... Uh, made a lighter cyan blue colored gas giant with a thick atmosphere. Take a look under the clouds and the atmosphere to see the surface. Surface is a light blue cyan with a storm. Flashlight lighting for the weirdest effect. Oh, yes, we're definitely going to be having a peek at that. If you put the surface colors on default, you'll be able to see how the atmosphere was supposed to look, but it messes with the surface colors. Okay, right. So we'll go on to flashlight mode, first of all. So, flashlight. Okay, here we are. Right, and then we need to look underneath the clouds of this uh, guy. So, there we go. Oh, yes, look at that. It's got the clouds. Awesome stuff indeed. Look at that. Oh, I like that with the rocky planet effect with it. Right, so if we put this on default, it messes it up. Oh, okay, that's very, very big. What if we put the atmosphere? Oh, yeah, I can see. Okay, yeah, that has made a big change. I mean, doing that. Look at that. That makes a real big change, but not on default. So it's a lot brighter with default on. Let's try it with um, directional light again. Okay, so it just makes it very, very luminous. <laughs> That's really cool looking. Now, I do like the glowing objects like that. So that is um, very nice. But yeah, it's meant to be like this. So yeah, there we go. There is Sirens one. So yeah, very nice um, indeed. Right, moving on. Next up, we have got um, Epsilon Unconfirmed. Who, who sent this one? It hasn't got a name. Hang on. Let's just find who this is. Okay, this is Stuck in 2D. So this is the guy who won the previous competition, the Christmas one. So... Um, Epsilon Erdany C unconfirmed. Okay, so let's see what he has made for today. Oh, oh, this is kind of a. Um, we've seen one. He sent one like this um, in um, for another one of the competitions. It's definitely a uh, different version. I wonder if I still have the version he sent. There was definitely an object that looked like this from a previous competition. I'm not exactly sure um, which one it was, but yeah, he definitely sent one like this, which is similar. And I really, really liked it. Um, I remember. So I wonder if I still have a copy of it. It's definitely, um, it's definitely from one of the more recent one of these we've done. But I'm not going to spend all day looking for it. But yeah, he made, this definitely reminds me of one we saw um, in a previous competition. It looks very nice indeed. I think it was the gas dwarf, possibly. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, put that back in. Oh well. But yeah, here it is. So very nice shades of teal blue, bit of like light cyan blue. We can see a few white bands in there um, as well. Looking very nice indeed. So let's see. So he put a massive description for this one. Okay. So this is my Epsilon Erdany C. Make sure you add two to four radii rings. Oh, he wants me to add rings. Okay, so we'll just uh, put it over here. 
Alrighty, so we've got to add a uh, little add-on. So here we go. Right, uh, rings two to four. Yes, please. There we go. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so that's his object in all its glory with uh, the rings he asked for. Looking good. Okay, so uh, here is the backstory, which is purely speculation. It relies heavily on unknown property of the planet and its axial too. Okay, right. Um, so Epsilon Edenisi is an ice giant world, 35 times the mass of Earth. That is uh, minus 40 AU from its parent star. Okay. Uh, the planet is a uh, common name being Ran, okay? It's a bit further out than Neptune. Despite this, it has quite an intense source of internal heat, which fuels its stormy atmosphere. Because remember, this thing is an ice giant. It's larger than Uranus and Neptune, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, which fuels it, okay? It has an axle tilt of 60 degrees, which gives it an extreme seasons. Okay, awesome stuff indeed. Um, as well as its flip temperature effect. Um, I talked about it in the description of my Christmas object. Right now, the southern hemisphere is experienced in summer. Plus, its seasonal band is very prominent. Okay. Ah, right. Hang on. Did I, I, I can't remember if I rotated on. Let me just put it in again. Oh, so it is rotated. Yeah, I rotated it the correct way up. So, for instance, it is actually supposed to look like this. So, if I just fix the original one. So, it's supposed to be on a tilt like this. That's the way it's intended to be. So, there we go. That's roughly, roughly correct. So, yeah, the 90 degree tilt. Let's just go ahead and delete that copied one. So, there we go. So, it's got its rings as well. So, yeah. Now it's having its really, pretty cool season. So we can see this area down here. So this is the southern hemisphere's experience in summer. So this is the summer area, and obviously behind will be the uh, winter area because it's on a tilt. So yeah, looking good stuff. Uh, Northern, hem Northern hemisphere is in winter, but remains warm to a, a strange anomaly that is not explained by scientists. The planet experiences uneven internal heating that is biased towards the Northern hemisphere. Okay. Oh, I really like the um, I really like the backstory towards. And I gotta say, this is a really, really good looking object as well. Really, really like the mixes of blue. Um, on this one. The planet has a sparse ring system created 150 million years ago by a collision between two of its main moons. Ooh, that kind of reminds me of the Uranus ring theory and why that's tilted on its side. Um, as this world is an ice giant, its upper atmosphere is high in methane, giving it a cyan colour and a sort of reddish haze around the edge of the planetary disk. That is also caused by the methane, not including um, in this object because you cannot actually add atmospheres to gas giants unless you do big brain modern. Well, one thing we can actually quickly do, so he said, did he say it had a red a reddish haze okay so what we can quickly do we can do a little sneak just to get it the way he uh, said about it in his little backstory so what we can do is um it doesn't have to be, it'll just be any we'll just do it i'll just put an earth in actually so we'll make put an earth in we also need to make it a lot bigger so we'll put it to around five five point three earths like so then what we'll do is we'll just drag it inside i know a lot of people like doing this but we'll just simply do this so you can see there's an atmosphere now on it so let's just uh try and get it exactly right so something like that okay so now we can see there's a slight, yeah, you can see the atmosphere is slightly there. Um, we may need to make the Earth slightly bigger. If I can select the Earth, that would be nice. Can I, Earth, please? No? So you just have to, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we can see the atmosphere of the Earth is now around um, Epsilon. So now we just need to select the Earth itself so we can modify it. So he said he wanted a reddish sort of case to it. So simply like, something like that. I mean, that does look really cool. Um, so let's see here. So he said... Um, because you cannot add atmospheres. It says a reddish haze. So I, I, I want to make it too bright, but maybe something like that he uh, he intends. Reddish sort of haze. It's not like fully red, but you've got a slight reddish sort of haze going on there. So something like that, I think he's... Uh, that's the way I sort of interpret it. So, yeah, there we go. Awesome stuff indeed. Um, the main ice present in this ice giant is water ice, which means there is a bottomless abyssal earth-like sea under the atmosphere of hydrogen helium methane yeah very nice um a very nice little um story for that very very cool right um right back to comp so who have we got next right next up we have got demunix one so let's go ahead and place his um over here okay so here we go so we've got some more nice mixes of colors in here that's looking gorgeous as well oh yes look at that so he uh said okay so okay so this planet was originally called okay so he gave it a custom name so mela mela hell I think is how he um, said it. It's uh, as it is originally called, when just or, or or as it was originally called, I should say, Epsilon Adonisi. is a uh, young, beautiful turquoise mega banded, 863 band ice giant, 45 times more massive than the Earth, orbiting the less massive but sun-like orange dwarf Epsilon Erdeni, at a distance of uh, 37 astronomical units. Uh, this planet is extremely weird and beautiful because of how uh, incredibly active and colourful its atmosphere is compared to other planets of its same kind, Uranus and Neptune. Ah. It's still, um, for actual science, a mystery of how stormy and colourful its atmosphere is, since no cold ice giant like this was ever found far around any upper stars of any kind. Aye, really nice. So, yeah, that is his uh, interpretation of Epsilon Erdani. Looking good. Alrighty, moving on. 
Right, next up we have got Gigaman's one. So let's see what he has made for us today. So let's go ahead and uh, have a look at it. So here we go. So this one's also tilted on its side. So we can see a trend here. They have the tilt. Very nice indeed. So here we go. So he's got a real mixture of bands in there. Okay, so let's see. Did he leave any description? Let's have a look. No, he just sent his object. So there's Gigaman's one. So it's got a nice mix of dark blues, light blues, all mixtures of everything in there. So there is his object looking good. Right, moving on. Whoa, okay, so this one here. Whoa, whoa right. Oh, this thing's huge. Right, what's going on over here? And that is a very, very funky ice giant with lots of red and white in it. So this is, um, hang on, I didn't even see who, who's won this one. So this is Iris the Great. Okay, so uh, did, did he leave any description? Let's see. No, he didn't leave a description either. So here is his one. Okay, look at that. So yeah, very, very uh, intense with the reds on it. I mean, it definitely stands out from the pack if you look from a distance. I mean... Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty crazy stuff indeed there. And then, um, yeah, there's his one. So moving on to the last object, so we've got Tuppy's object over here. So let's go ahead and place his one in. Okay, so here we are. So again, we've got a nice mixture of light um, colored bands. I think he left a description for his as well. So let's quickly see if I can uh, quickly locate it because he sent me a text file. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, open it. All right, so where are we? Come on, where is it? Um, I can't even find it now. There we go. Right, here we go. Right, so his description is, okay, Right, uh, he also wants some rings on it, um, like the one earlier. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly add that in. So, yeah, we need to go to the rings. What am I doing? Nope, get rid of that. Right, rings two to four. So add to that one. There we go. So there's the rings for his one as well. Awesome stuff. Okay, looking good. Okay, so he says um, add the rings. Okay. Um, oh no, he wants certain colours as well. Okay, very, very Pacific. Okay, so let's quickly just control, control Z and remove those. So he wants two sets of rings. Okay, so like this then. So manual, and he wants this shade of colour. I mean, it's very, very uh, specific. So add ring like that. There we go. So it's a very, very intense blue shade there. Um, put two layers, and then the second one it needs to be this colour. So let's see. Uh, let's see what this colour comes out. So it's a mixture of two different shades of ring. Um, in the same ring here, so like this. So he wants that one now. Did the uh, ring get added? Oh yeah, I can see it. There is lighter and darker blues in there. So that's that's the rings he wants for it. So yeah, there you go. So very very blue set of rings there. Okay, right. Uh, the nickname of the planet is uh, Hente. So let's go to the description. Okay, uh, it's a cold planet with breezing winters and scorched summers of over 300 degrees Celsius. You might want to stay away, but after all, it's still a beauty. Inside its surface. You can find frozen oceans, colourful algae, hot, a lot of toxic clouds. It snows a lot here in some parts of the planet. You can find liquid water. Contrary to the popular belief, it actually contains a breathable oxygen. Oh, hang on, just scroll on this textile. Um, and a really rare species of microorganisms. But uh, don't pack your things yet. It's a toxic planet and has a frozen ocean wasteland after all. Okay. Um, Hentes is mostly composed of methane, which gives it a cyan colouring. Um, it is unknown what makes the surface so colourful. Its rings were formed when it collided with a big rocky planet. Okay. Um, at night time, you see beautiful neon oceans, and this, if you touch it, it's like touching jelly. Um, if you ask how it smells, it smells like ice cream, but if you inhale it, um, you would choke to death. Fun, right? Okay, and then uh, the gas giant um, inside the surface is so dense that it almost feels like hitting a wall. There is a snowstorm that rages for 700 years straight. In autumn season, you can find, see the oceans of clouds changing colour. Uh, that is my description of um, Epsilon Island Erdan EC. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So yeah, there's his one. So yeah, there we go. That is the uh, full lineup of all the objects. So if we get a light, actually proper lineup of them all now, we need to make this big boy a lot uh, smaller for a start. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, get it the correct sort of size. So there we go. That, that, that's, that works. We'll have it on the end. Okay, so uh, make live. Okay, so here we are. And that will go through them all once again. So we'll start with the crazy red one. So, yeah, the red one was, this was, um, oh, go back to comp, there we go. Okay, so this was Iris the Great's one. That was the crazy, funky red one. Then next up, we had Gigaman's one here. This was, yeah, this was definitely Gigaman's. Oh, can I, there we go. Yep, so ne select the planet, please, not the rings. So there's uh, Gigaman's one. Okay, then there's that red earth. We'll just get get rid of that thing. We don't need it anymore. So, yeah, then we had uh, Tispole's one here, or, or Stuck in 2D is his name now. He, yeah, he changed his name. So, um, yeah, that is his one there. So that's got the very nice mix of uh, teal and dark blue in there. And then we had Siren's one here. So he's the only one who went with a rocky planet base for uh, this object. So there it is there. And also, if we look underneath, this one had the um, very intense purple underneath, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, there is Siren's one. Then we had my classic old one here. Obviously, you can't vote for that. And then the winner of the previous uh, Epsilon comp can't vote for that one either. Then we had uh, this one here. This was uh, Tuppy's one, which we just visited. 
Uh, and then moving on, we had the Munix one over here with a nice mix of the light, sort of a, almost turquoisey green, light pale shades of blue there. And then lastly, we had Core, who um, was the winner of the previous um, Epsi Island competition. So, yeah, there we go. There is your full lineup of objects. So, as always, good luck to everyone in the voting for this competition. This one. This one should be interesting, so I'm very interested to see um, who will come out on top of this one. So if you'd like to vote, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, and you can vote by adding the reaction to whoever you want to vote for. Make sure you can only vote for one person as well, because some people like to vote for all of them, which doesn't make any sense, because if you vote for all of them, then there's no point voting, because they all get plus one point. So, yeah, pretty weird, and please don't do that. But you have that all said and done, guys, and massive thank you for watching today's object competition video. And if you'd like to participate in the future, make sure to also join my Discord server, link in the description. And also, guys, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's object competition video and also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey 19,000 subscribers before the end of the year we're almost there we're over halfway um from 18 to 19 now i think we're at 18 sort of 500 now so we're so 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 close to getting that 19,000 before the end of the year let's see if we can do it that'd be absolutely amazing but yeah that all said and done guys make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye